Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India particular session we will talk about the delegation and uh, empowerment uh, like uh, whenever we want to create the effective team uh, with our efficient leadership styles. So, then it becomes very very important those who are the team members right they should also feel that they are empowered they are having certain power they are having, they, they should have a job satisfaction in the sense they should have a, a inner motivation intrinsic motivation so that they can uh, give their the best uh, uh, work and uh, naturally not only for the purpose of getting the work done but also for the happiness is concerned of the overall team happiness you know? so we can also create the team happiness index and uh, for this purpose, uh, this delegation and empowerment are the instruments, mechanisms uh, which can be used. So, uh, here we will talk about the delegation, importance of delegation, principles of effective delegation, empowerment, dimensions of empowerment, developing empowerment, uh, relation in empowerment and the empowered delegation and as usual we will be discussing the research paper, case study, book recommendations and references are there. So, delegation is a relatively simple way for leaders uh, when we understand the delegation to free themselves of time consuming course, to give followers developmental opportunities, uh, to increase the number of tasks uh, accomplished by the work group, team or committee is there. So, here we whenever we are talking about the delegation right. So, it, it is the what a leader gains out of this delegation. The leader gains that is a time consuming course uh, that is the he is getting the time because a certain task which can be performed by the subordinates then uh, he if he delegates them then he is free for the doing the next level jobs to give the followers developmental opportunities and as the that particular job has been given to the uh, other employee or other uh, colleagues or these uh, uh, the team members basically here then in that case they also get the developmental opportunities and that will be a sort of the on the job training right and uh, that is also beneficial for the team members followers and uh, uh, leader also getting the time uh, benefits for this doing this particular job to increase the number of tasks accomplished by the work group team or the committee are concerned right so therefore in that case uh, this is becoming the uh, uh, the the task which has been accomplished uh, they, that uh, will be done fast because the all uh, are contributing the work right so therefore uh, it is the it is not a single hand contribution uh, rather than it is the collective hands contribution and therefore the number of tasks uh, accomplished will be more and the group team and the committee all will be getting benefited delegation gives the responsibility for decisions to those individuals most likely to be affected by or to implement the decision is there so another benefit of delegation is to is to give the decisions to those individuals right and uh, most likely to be uh, this is the to be affected by to implement the decision is there so delegation is more concerned with the autonomy responsibility and follower development than with the participation is concerned uh, research has shown that leaders who delegate authority more frequently often have higher performing businesses right and therefore in that case uh, it, it is becoming the uh, most important thing that is the how these uh, uh, high performance businesses have been uh, done the however followers are not necessarily happier when their leaders frequently delegate the task right so here uh, it is also uh, many times uh, it is also been seen that is though there are these advantages but the followers are not happy because there are two reasons so one is that is that is getting the additional job for which they do not want to do second is that there is no developmental motivation 
that is I should learn these different jobs are there. So therefore, in that case, uh, uh, that is the uh, here uh, the followers are not becoming the happiest, but the studies are concerned. Al always, uh, uh, but uh, for the leaders, those who are having this type of the delegation, they are getting the higher performing businesses right and they get the opportunities Be because of as uh, I mentioned in the previous slide that is they are, they are able to accomplish that particular goals. Mm, maintain that it was due to subordinates who felt they were not delegated the authority needed to accomplish the delegated task monitored too closely or delegated only task leaders did not want to do. So, therefore, many times they uh, the, the followers right they felt that is the they are not delegated the authority you know, whatever is needed to accomplish that particular task is concerned and they are monitored too closely and therefore, uh, they are delegated. Uh, uh, so, uh, what happens job is given, but uh, naturally in delegation one thing we have to keep in mind the uh, responsibility uh, is uh, remaining with the leaders and therefore, leader monitors uh, too closely because ultimately in the delegated task if something goes wrong who will be responsible? It, it is the leader will be responsible and not the team member who has been given that task. So, this particular worry makes the leader to be conscious and active. And therefore, in that case, uh, um, that uh, leader uh, he will be monitoring and uh, uh, having the close watch on the subordinate uh, or follower. So, therefore, in that case also, um, that is the task is delegated, but there is an additional monitoring is there or delegated only task which leaders uh, did not want to do, or the such task will be there which are complex in nature or may not be the liking of the leader and therefore, in that case uh, the uh, leaders uh, did not want to do. Uh, Wilcox 1982 study showed that leaders who delegated skillfully had more satisfied followers than who did not delegate. Right? So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, here that is the uh, uh, those who are delegated skillfully right. So, then in that case uh, the followers are more happy and satisfied right as compared to those who did not delegate. So, from this slide what we understand that is balance is required. The uh, nature of task follows willingness follows capability to do um, the leaders monitoring abilities uh, right because the um, uh, that is otherwise the that will be additional supervision right. So, therefore, the followers may not like that. Right. But uh, leaders will be of, of, of course, by delegation and uh, they are accomplishing more tasks. So, they are getting the more opportunities for the higher performance businesses are concerned. So, following are the ideas given by the H L Taylor 1989 about why delegating is important. So, delegation uh, frees time for other activities. So, leaders typically have so many different responsibilities that they invariably must delegate some of them to others. Right. So, therefore, in that case, uh, uh, so uh, different responsibilities will be there, right, uh, where uh, the they uh, they have to uh, give the these responsibilities, right. Uh, uh, so, uh, they can perform uh, that uh, some uh, offer them to uh, making the this is easier to get the uh, other work done because leaders determine what responsibilities will be delegated. Now, here is the catch. Catch is that that what will be delegated. It is not the any rules or regulations in the organization. It is totally the wishful thinking of the leader is there. The process is one by which leaders can ensure that their time is allocated most judiciously to meet the group needs are there. Now, so therefore, in that case, this is also important. Once you are delegated, now they are doing the job. So, one one extreme will be that is a close monitoring other extreme will be that you are not controlling. So, therefore, the judiciously to there should be the time is to be given by the leader when he is delegating to meet the group needs. The leader's time is a precious commodity, 
that should be invested wisely in those activities that the leader is uniquely suited and that will provide the greatest long term benefits to the group is there. So, it is always uh, it has been seen that is the, uh, the all this delegation which has been uh, uh, done by the leader and that whatever the time investment is, is doing right that is uniquely suited. So, when in the group when uh, it is the comfortable uh, uh, that is the delegation is proper and then it is uh, uh, timely uh, supported I will not say monitored rather than supported then definitely in that case the leader will be having the better efficiency and that will create the benefits to the group. Here I would like to give the one example like there is a project team is there and in the project team one project is given and there the leader and the team members and uh, they do fantastic job what will be the reward other than the monetary rewards. So, reward will be the that is they will be given the another higher level project because once they have tested and they have done a good job. So, naturally next time people will be looking for them and they will be given the uh, another higher level jobs. And delegation importance of uh, in delegation, the delegation uh, developers followers. Uh, so, they are therefore, uh, de uh, whenever you are delegating uh, as a leader to your followers, uh, they are getting the opportunities and responsibilities uh, and uh, significant tasks. So, best is to uh, support their growth. So, it is the learning by doing. Right. So, it allows subordinates the best training experience of all and that is a learning by doing is there. Delegation strengthens the organization uh, delegation uh, sends an organizational signal that the subordinates are trusted. Uh, because otherwise what happens the leader says no, no, no I will do I will do my job only he is not allowing to team members to do the any uh, next level job right. Because the delegation is given by the leader of his own task and so naturally it is, it is a next level tasks are there. So, when you are delivering or delegating these uh, tasks to the your uh, follower, so it shows the trust is there right and the, it, it also shows the commitment of the leader towards the followers. So, commitment of the delegates is there, it improves the decision making skills right. He delegates because uh, in that case uh, he is able to have the more experience in decision making. Delegation also foster work integration by manager coordination is there. So, that manager's coordination that will be also improved. So, but uh, um, we have to learn that is how this delegation is to be done judiciously ineffectually otherwise as we have seen that there are the there is importance of the delegation, but it is to be done judiciously. So, what we mean by the judiciously delegation and deciding when to delegate ask the following question do subordinates have the necessary or superior information or expertise. So, that the competency, competency of the supervisor is, uh, uh, is depending upon that is he is able to judge whether the subordinate will be able to do or not that particular task. So, is the commitment of the subordinate critical to successful implementation? So, he is not doing this job because the boss is given, he is taking this particular task or uh, job delegated task uh, to develop himself that is I am getting this opportunity to do this new task. So, he develops the expertise in that and create the better future. Will subordinates capabilities be expanded by this assignment and uh, therefore, there are two terms here I would like to share. One is job enlargement, ne ne other is job enrichment. Job enlargement means it is not increasing the capabilities, but it is increasing the practice that is all. But whenever we are talking about uh, the job enrichment and then in job enrichment it is the subordinates capabilities are there and uh, therefore, in that case uh, uh, whenever the subordinate is able to making these capabilities uh, expanding these capabilities. Uh, so, definitely he will be happy. Do subordinates share with management and each other common values and perspectives are there. This is also very, very important. We have talked about the personality and leadership. So, in the follower and in team members, they are also having their own personality. Hmm? So, like some will be having a personality like the horses. So, they are powerful and, uh, uh, and, and they whenever they have given the direction, they follow the direction 
and they do it right whenever we use the horse we put the flip before the eyes right and therefore he gets the direction so uh, in in addition to the uh, that eyesightness he is having the vision also he gets the vision so there will be so therefore do the subordinates share the that value system personality is same because there should be the common values and perspectives uh, between the uh, leader members team and organization is there sufficient time to do an effective job of delegating so therefore whether the, that subordinate is having that particular sufficient time so if answer is yes then they do delegate now this is a very very important slide and uh, interesting also that is uh, should i uh, involve others right so appropriate alternative is the yes make the decision by yourself no should i direct my subordinates to form a group right and therefore in that case uh, uh, if the answer is no then we will go for the self management teams you know so therefore consult with others by make a decision by yourself or should i delegate decision making authority to the group right so if you say yes so it means there is a self management team is there if answer is no consult with the team but makes a decision by yourself so therefore this step is to be taken should i participate in the group and that is the yes then self management it will be a self management team if answer is no let the team decide right so therefore in that case it is the uh, uh, whenever we we want uh, that uh, no uh, that is the uh, in this particular questions from 1 to 4 if uh, it is the answer is yes so then it will be self managed teams and if the answer is no then in that case the uh, it is the collective decision is to be taken that is the uh, let the team decide means everybody is involved in self management team it it is the more delegation is there but whenever we are saying no then in that case uh, it will be the um, whole team will be decide every member will be consulted how to delegate begin with the end in mind and hmm? what will be the result delegate completely so uh, means le let them take the decisions and eh? there is no issue is there allow participation in the delegation of uh, assignments establish the parity between authority and responsibility work within the organization structure provide the adequate support for the delegated task hmm? focus accountability on results uh, delegate the con consistently and avoid upward delegation now now you see uh, and that is nothing like a upward delegation right so therefore whenever we are talking about the delegation so delegation will be always will be given from the top to bottom so here it will go from top to bottom while in the case whenever we go for this particular uh, uh, delegation right uh, it will be always the boss will delegate to the subordinates is there right and uh, in the case uh, uh, it, it will be go like this right so direction will be delegation direction will be like this it will be never like this so therefore in that case whenever we are talking about the delegate the consistently right and avoid the upward delegation so always um, uh, uh, so it will go this is right right and uh, it and uh, this is wrong so it will not be the upward direction it will be the downward direction will be there and whenever you are going for this uh, um, the the uh, Uh, the downward direction right so it means that that is the the responsibility remains with the boss right uh, authority is uh, uh, given to the subordinates so that clarity will be there uh, with the downward uh, 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 delegation and uh, uh, here you can also decide that is you means as a leader leader can decide uh, how to make the delegation to whom to make the delegation now the question arises when we have to give the delegation subordinates have the needed information so he is having that competency commitment is crucial so that the job will be given then he will be able to do uh, and uh, they deliver timely right subordinates capabilities will be expanded and the common values are shared and sufficient time is available so this will be the when 
to whom involve no one right consult with other individuals but decide alone uh, uh, consult with, uh, with with a team but decide alone and let the team decide a uh, participant is a member of the team is there so therefore in that case uh, that is the decision making process is the uh, many times is to be with the uh, that uh, who is having the responsibility Big, uh, and this, uh, this uh, deciding how is begin with the end in mind and delegate completely allow for participation match authority with responsibility work within the structure provide support uh, focus accountability on results uh, delegate consistently avoid uh, upward delegation and the clarification so uh, what is the effective outcomes of the delegation readily acceptable assignments are there and high uh, so here uh, actually that environment you create that culture you create and therefore in that culture you are having that acceptable assignments uh, high moral and motivation is there so whenever you are having these uh, delegation system in your uh, group and team or more or less in the organization then you are having the uh, the moral of the employees will be very high because they know any time they will get a task uh, which is otherwise supposed to be done by the next level means that is the boss or the uh, top level but they have trusted me and they have given me this particular task organizational coordination and efficiency will increase uh, a, 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 a a culture of the team building because the coordination synergy will be developed and that culture will be there uh, increase problem solving abilities decision making so therefore in that case uh, it is not that every time the subordinate or follower is running towards the leader or the boss right it it is that is the he is developed that uh, uh, capability because in the delegation the most important point is the expansion of the capability of the followers so they increase the problem solving abilities more discretionary time for the managers are there so they can use that time for the um, betterment of the organization by doing some other task uh, stronger interpersonal relationships are there because that is an efficient delegation and successful task completion will be there so that the time quality cost for that particular accomplishment of task that that will be uh, done by this particular team so in summary we can say that is the delegation is an art but it is a science also so therefore when you are putting these uh, uh, points uh, of these slides into in your mind whenever uh, when whom how right and the uh, the end of uh, that uh, result when you keep in mind so you are rational you are logical and therefore you are a scientific person so if you do this uh, in a systematic manner then definitely there will be no problem in the delegation now we will talk about the empowerment so providing freedom for people to do what they want to do rather than the getting them to do what you what you want them to do and the empowerment is having two components that is the, they must delegate the leadership as we have and the decision making down to the lowest level which we have seen and the equipping followers is there so making the the followers the fully equipped now the power and empowerment that we have to understand actually the power is given with the given task or that authority and responsibility is there empowerment is that is the 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 power is with somebody and he has shared his power with with the uh, another person so it is a external source power ultimately few people have it to capacity to others to what you want to get more implies taking it away from someone else and leads to competition while in the empowerment it is the internal source is there and the uh, ultimately everyone can have it the capacity to have others to what they want to get more does not affect how much others have and leads to cooperation however the power is uh, for the purpose of this is a self existence empowerment is about the purpose of the um, uh, co cooperative existence that is the leader's existence also and the followers existence also 
Now, in the dimensions of empowerment, it is a self-efficacy, a sense of personal competence, that is how much do you have and how much you believe in trust in your competency. Self-determination is there, a sense of personal choice is there, now, personal consequences having the impact, what will be the impact is there, meaning a sense of value in activity and the trust is there, a sense of security. So, for the developing the empowerment, uh, how to develop, uh, create a picture of a desired future right? and use the word pictures and emotional pictures to describe the vision is there. Identify the actions uh, that will lead to a vision, establish the smart, specific, me specific, measurable, aligned, realistic and time bounded goals. Right? So, goals are to be very specific. Goals are to be measurable, goals are to be aligned with the organizational goals and the, uh, the group goals, team goals and the realistic is to be there, it should not be the non-achievable, it should be achievable and time bounded and therefore, in that case, uh, it, is, it is to be accomplished within the time. To associate the vision with the personal values and therefore, in that case, uh, this will be the always whatever the personal values are there that will be covered uh, uh, along with this particular uh, uh, developing this uh, a clear cut vision is there. So, personal values are to be part of that, otherwise that vision will be impossible to attend. Provide opportunities to foster personal mastery. Break big task in small and assign one at a time. Assign simple task before difficult ones. Uh, highlights and celebrate the small achievements. Uh, gradually expand job responsibilities to solve the problems are there. And therefore, here we talk about that is the how these job responsibilities uh, um, that will be creating uh, these solutions are there. Model the correct or successful behavior, mm, demonstrate successful task accomplishment, uh, point out other people who have succeeded uh, and these uh, facilitate the interaction with other role models. Now, find a coach and establish the mentor relationship and associate the vision with the personal values and the support is there, therefore, indicate praise, encourage, express approval for and reassure, send note of praise to family members and co-workers, foster uh, informal social uh, activities to build the cohesion, uh, then they suppress you less closely and provide time select is there and the organizer recognition uh, ceremony is there. So, arouse the positive emotions, foster activities to encourage friendship formation, uh, periodically send uh, light uh, hearted messages, uh, use uh, superlatives, adjectives in giving feedbacks, uh, highlight uh, link in personal and organizational goals and uh, foster the attributes of rec recreation in work. Provide all task relevant information, technical, cross functional and information from its sources there. Always we have to provide the resources to the followers, so that in that case they will be able to um, do the job that is main machine, material, money, method and minutes are there, that is the time is there, manpower is to be properly trained, the technological machinery is to be provided and the communication channels that should be provided, so that the if they find any problem at any time they can easily communicate. Connect to the outcomes is there, that is what will be the outcome ultimately and why all these uh, functions are performed, these performance are performed to the uh, for the outcomes uh, um, which will be uh, enhancing the managerial effectiveness and organizational effectiveness. Provide authority to resolve problem on the spot, uh, provide immediate unfiltered direct feedback is there, uh, create task identity and the clarify and measure effects uh, has to be there, so that in that case the outcomes will be as per the expectations are there. Uh, here we create the confidence among followers by exhibiting, so reliability and consistency, fairness and the equality is there, caring and personal concern, openness and honesty is there and competence and expertise is there. So, finally, we come to the relationship in empowerment and empower delegation. So, these will be the guidelines for the empowering which we have discussed in the previous slide in summary right and, and uh, here will be the delegation principles uh, uh, which will be uh, 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 will be connected. So, whenever we are connecting the guidelines of empowering right uh, and then the delegation principles which both we have discussed earlier and that will be making the empower the delegation is there. So, whenever we are giving the empowerment of this delegation then the, the person will be having the experienced empowerment and here the personal consequences and uh, uh, the, the meaningful uh, and the trust uh, is very very important. So, why all this? 
that that is the empowering and the delegation because the desired outcomes are there. Here I would like to focus these points we already discussed these four um, blocks we have discussed earlier. Uh, so, now finally I will discuss the desired outcomes. So, that is uh, increasing the productivity, psychological and physical health, uh, proactivity and innovativeness, uh, persistence in work trustworthiness in the atmosphere that will be created. So, that the organization uh, that uh, um, the citizenship that will be strong, interpersonal effectiveness is there, intrinsic motivation and the high moral and the commitment is there. And as a result of which there will be the whenever we are having this uh, uh, empowering and delegation culture in the organization and that will give the desired outcomes are there. As usual, uh, this is the research paper that is uh, about the delegation outcomes, perceptions of leaders and followers uh, satisfaction and uh, as different studies have been uh, uh, mentioned. So, we have to go for these uh, uh, different uh, research papers and the, this is the case study minding this chore right and by going through this case study you will be able to uh, answer these questions uh, to empowerment were violated. Um, by the K. Hoffman, by Ruth Cummings, uh, you can do as a new assignment also. What guidelines related to delegation were violated by homework by the this Ken Hoffman, by the Ruth Cummings is there. So, please go through this case study and these uh, answers uh, these questions uh, and uh, on basis of that uh, you, you will be able to understand the practical uh, implication of uh, this particular uh, empowerment and delegation is there. And this is the book which is recommended empowerment uh, takes more than a minute uh, right and therefore, in that case uh, how, how to make uh, your team uh, more empowered um, by the delegation and achieving the task uh, of this particular higher performance objectives and goals of the businesses. So, by these are the references which you can refer for your further studies uh, and uh, for also the references for this particular material right. So, thank you, thank you very much.